me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be sorry. You won't be. You might not know that about me. I'm a little sarcastic. Yeah, and I can be. Hey, everybody. It's Missy and Lori. Hi. Live from our new beautiful studio. Do you love it or what? It's fantastic. It is fantastic. It's very intimate. Hope everything works because Me too. We'll see a hell of a time getting everything rolling here. I have to throw some shit around in so here. So what's been going on? Welcome to the Piston Pickle Podcast. Oh, a little shit. about pickleball. Careful. A lot about what pisses us <laughs> off. When you hit your head. Yeah. And when you hit your head. A lot about what pisses you off lately. A lot about that. Brought to you by My Paddle. Thanks, guys, out there in Oceanside, California. My Paddle, those cool rubber bands you put on your paddle. Yeah. Say whatever you want, your name, and stuff. I'll show you right here. Oh, there you go, right there. Check it Lori, out. put that on our fat tire paddle. And uh, you can get many yes. colors. You can get fonts, whatever, whatever you want to say. Get whatever you want. Four or more, 50% off, nine or more, free shipping. And I have a great idea what, what? people should do that run leagues. Hmm. I think the league guys should order those up for like first, second, third place. I Maybe gold, them. silver, bronze mm -hmm. things. And then um, instead of medals or trophies, nobody wants. I mean, look, we have we have, have so some medals. medals. <laughs> we have so what do we do with them all? What do they do? They go underneath our table. Um, I think some my paddle bands would be a fabulous or you know, treat. I would love to get that. Maybe if you I lost, tournament. but yours says loser. Yeah, and maybe so. you could get the last place one and say big fat loser on. Yeah, or I, I don't, don't care if I lose. Yeah, or that's whatever. Fine. But some people do care if they lose. Yeah. Then you give your band to somebody else that you think's a loser, and it's a win-win. Like Emily Waters. Oh, not to, not to <laughs> dig this up because it's in the news everywhere. But look it up. It's fun. Emily Waters, sixteen-year-old pickleball prodigy. Fantastic. Oh, my Never gosh. loses mm -mm. until the other day, oh. and oh. she lost in singles against Hurricane Tyra. We saw her, Tyra Black. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, amazing. Girl, kudos to her. Yeah. And you know, everybody's gonna lose every now and then. Everybody Sometimes you're going to lose. So, ball what happened? Well, she lost. Uh, she hit her last point out, and she immediately threw her paddle, and then she just started cheering like this, and uh -oh. yay, and ran off the court. She ran just off like in a, Yeah, it was so weird. It's like, uh, wait, what just oh, she's happened 16. here? She's 16. Yeah, she's 16, but she's also a professional player. Yeah. And you got to take the wins graciously, and you got to take the losses yeah, graciously. Apparently, you don't have to. Well, yeah, but anyway. So don't be a loser. Don't be a poor sport. Get your My Paddle Band, put those on there, and you won't be sorry. Mm. What else is going on, Missy? Goodness sakes. Goodness gracious. It's been crazy. I have makeup on today. I was glad to see it. I can see again. I had surgery, you guys, on my eye and um, a couple little mishaps, but I'm good. I can you see said now. You forgot how pretty I was. I did. I'm like, <laughs> Missy, you're so pretty. Thanks. Yeah, it's amazing when you can see. You can't just play lights in here. I can't just see how you got to play now. When you can see the ball. I know, and I get to get released to play again next week, so I'm pretty excited about that. So that's all coming up. Also want to give a shout out to our other sponsor, Serve at 91st and Metcalf in Overland mm -hmm. Park, Kansas. They have a lot of fun stuff going out there, indoor courts, outdoor courts. They have something on Friday nights I can't wait to check out. Smash Ball. It's called Smash Ball. It's 21 and over. Drop in and play for 10 bucks. Ooh, no pun intended. It's going to start at eight. Six Seven. Seven? Eight. Maybe you come early. Yeah, come early. Have a cocktail. Out. Or a nice appetite. Yeah, it's just open play, drink specials, late night bites. Good and time. And it's been beautiful out. Yeah, fun, fun time. They have indoor courts and outdoor courts. And they have fabulous food and drinks. Go check them out. State, do a road and trip. while you're there, sign up for a lesson with Connor. Oh, and yeah. Connor's here to give us his tip of the week right now. Yay. Hey guys, Coach Connor with another weekly tip. See the short video of a couple students I worked with yesterday. Pay attention to Vicky in the orange shirt. We are working on dinking and covering the court up at the net. You'll notice that her paddle face is dropping when she's going down for that dink. She's not flicking the wrist. You wanna keep that paddle face open and lift with those legs and those shoulders as she's doing in the video. Also, when that ball changes direction, she's following it with her eyes, her body, and her paddle all together. Great job, Vicky. Thanks, Connor. We'll oh. check you out on uh, Friday night. We're going to come out there and play. So come on out there, guys. Come out there and challenge come us. Come visit with us. If you beat us, that'll be good luck with that. If you that. beat us, you can buy us a drink. <laughs> and if we beat you, you, you can, can buy, buy us, a, us drink. a drink. A drink. 
Either way, we're drinking and you're buying. And you're playing and so you're buying. buying. So yeah, come on out, serve 91st and awesome. Metcalf, Overland Park, Kansas. And I know a lot of you, you know, don't live in Kansas or the Midwest, but when you come out for that PPA tournament at the end of the month, come check out Serve, 91st and Metcalf. You're right there. So much fun. Right they have entertainment, they have bands, they have yard games, fabulous drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be sorry. You won't be <laughs> sorry. And we I think I'm gonna bring some of those my paddle bands to give away when we go out. We there, are. Too. Morning, yeah. so come out, join us, yeah. have some fun, and this show will air on Friday. We're going to be out there tonight, so mm -hmm. Friday the eleventh tonight, eight to whenever they kick us out of there. Get your friends and get your friends carry on and, over and come on out. So, okay. with that being said, what else? Oh, it's almost time for back to school. You know what I learned? One thing about back to school, also. What did you learn? As you go back to school, I learned it's Bully Awareness Month in August. Really? Yes. The Billy's Bully Street. I believe some boys cool. drink sometimes. Mm -hmm. Also, I Fat Tire, like... thanks for all the beer you send us. Yeah, it helps me not to bully. And it helps us to stay even keeled. Yeah. Um, and it's very tasty. The new mm -hmm. Fat yeah. Tire, new recipe. New recipe. It's if you haven't tried it, mm. very crisp. I love it. It's good with a burger. It. I love it even more when I spill it down my shirt. I need to. Um, on a hot day. Yeah, because it's kind of hot in here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, back to school bullies. Were you bullying when you were a kid, Miss? God, yes. Yeah. You were? Yeah, I was, I was a look like a chubby boy. And, and kids made fun of you all the time. Really? Yeah. Kids are mean. They are mean. I was mean. I mean, <laughs> I was, I didn't, I was just taught that you handle things a little bit sarcastic. You might not know that about me. I'm a little sarcastic. I never would And I so. can be brutal. Yeah, she can be really like funny games, mean. people. Grow some thick skin and get over yourself is what I say. But yeah, I was bullied. I mean... Because my mom got me tough skins. Guess what? Girls aren't supposed to wear boy jeans. You wore tough big girl. skins? Did you wear huskies? Damn right I did. <laughs> I would have let you ask too. Bill. <laughs> yeah. As people like you. No, I wasn't a bully, but I was bullied also. I bullied because I was bullied. That makes sense. I am the person I am today because I was bullied. Made you a Tracy, better woman. You know who you are in seventh grade. Dirty leg. Tracy. No, no, not her. That's I not her name. Her. I'm no. not going to use Tracy her Hagman's really nice. Because she's probably listening, going, I should have been nice to her. And Tracy I could have got some free swag. But um, would have sent you a paddle, celebrities. But, but Not now, Tracy. But, yeah, not now, Tracy. So it's seventh grade. Let's roll it back to the 70s. Whoa, wait. I'm going back to the 70s. <laughs> 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 I've been doing my time more. <laughs> seventh grade, junior high. Um, that was, you know. Good time. I was had a fun time. No, I hated it. I loved it. Yeah, but I was look like a thirty six year old woman in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I had like in seventh grade. Yeah, I had like double D's. I was very. Oh, you were very full. I was at eleven, twelve years oh, old. Oh God, about the kid Matured out. very early. Boys were always. So you look like bra. a thirty six year old. And I look like a twelve year old. Boy. Yeah, we would not have jived back then. We probably would have. I don't know. Probably not. But anyway, it was seventh grade English class, Mrs. Bergstrom, uh -huh. at Old Maple Park, junior high. Sure. Mrs. And um, I had my denim purse I had to carry because when I developed, you guessed it, I had everything else going on too. Are you? So, did you start your period? Very too? early. Very, very early. Ooh. So let's talk about periods. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll let's the. Let's roll cycle. the. Let's roll the film. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and you hear that, that, that projector going, what do you mean? <laughs> they turn off all the lights. Like, Rock in 19, <laughs> Brian, stop laughing. Anyway, yeah. I go to class and I took this denim purse everywhere with me because they were full of like maxi pads. And plus and, it was your special old denim purse. Yeah, the dazzled it. I think I remember like, my sister had that. She's like, the the rock, is it Psycho? Rhinestones. Ronco. It, mine were just silver, like silver bullets. Oh, yeah. And they had pockets on the outside. Yeah, but I had two more pants. A, a leather vest. Yeah, with fringe on the bottom. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And then those, um, we're really getting off track. We do that a lot. Yeah. Those denim jackets mm -hmm. with the um, embroidery on the back yeah. had like a mushroom patch. And <laughs> <laughs> what else I have on I had it? an eagle like getting a fish. Yeah, I just remember the mushrooms. The mushrooms. 
I remember lots of mushrooms, actually. But um, I remember those mushrooms. But anyway, back to Tracy, the bitch that Tracy. bullied me. Okay. Um, she grabbed my purse, you know. The, oh, okay, that's... She grabbed my purse. right there. And made a big scene about it. And she goes, oh, look, I got her purse. Let's see what's in it. And I was mortified. Tracy, she, you had. She opened it up, you know. And then she starts throwing, like... What was in it? My maxi pads. Mm-hmm. Only you that's know? all that was in there? Yeah. You said a purse full of pads? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a zinger. <laughs> Boy, I got hungry. But, um, oh, yeah. Zinger. So God, I love those. Throws. How rude. Was everybody oh, laughing at oh, you? Everybody was laughing. I was mortified. What did you do? We're well, like, I took that purse because it had a long strap. And I went, Tracy, you. And I whacked it like that. Yeah. And I slapped it kind of like a towel does. Uh-huh. And it went, like, <laughs> and hit her in the face. <gasps> I had to go to the principal's office. That's well worth it. That's yeah, but that's not fair. That's bullshit. She started it. That's bullshit. Yeah, but I'm so glad you got go. that good slap. In and there. obviously, it still haunts me to this day. Well, you're not able to buy pads anymore <laughs> because of that. <laughs> I have a pad story. One time, it's a little different though. Yeah, my shirts. We're veering off the subject of bullies. I wasn't trying to bully anybody. And then there, guys. We'll be right back with yeah, stuff for you. Yeah, it was Liberty Junior High. I said it. Sorry, Mr. Butler. It was me. Um, they're used to these pads came out that were like, we have wings. And it like, there was a pad and then slink stickers on the end. You know why? You're supposed to fold them under your underwear. No, you attach them to your thigh. No, yeah. You, <laughs> <laughs> you just, no, yeah, you do. But I don't know. I just thought they were funny. And like when you walk up to the school, uh, when I went there in high, I was in high school when I did this. Huge picture window, and so my friends and I got tons of those pads and just put those out there. It was like squirted. Oh, Missy! For all the people to come the next day when it's frosty in the morning, everything's <laughs> frosted over, and we have them on the flag poles <laughs> in the parking lot. That's lives. disgusting. Yeah. Did Mormon Kim? Was but Mormon Kim in on that? No, she wasn't in on no. that one. Um, but she was in on all stuff. Yeah. But you know, who what? What kid doesn't want to have that fun in the morning before school? I don't know. But, I mean, there's fun. And then there's bullying that really is detrimental to a lot of kids these days because of the social media. And, and I can't you know. imagine having to deal with social media. Oh, God. God it's brutal enough either. to have them. Yeah, it's brutal enough. I mean, mm. how we had friended somebody who just, like, drew a mustache or scribbled out their face. Yeah, and they I picture. scribbled out their eyes or made, like, a black eye on them. Yeah, or but not today. Out some teeth. It's brutal. I feel yeah. sorry for kids today, really. It's I do, too. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it either. Yeah, you have anything wrong or any weird shit? They're like, eh. Yeah. You know, you're screwed. And I think the more society says, don't do it, don't do it, the more they do it. I don't yeah. know. Anything goes anymore. Yeah. It's I mean, sucks. I was called a boy for so long. Did you wear tough school. skins in high school? No. 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 I did anything I could to get my hands on those Jordash. <laughs> those and those Sergio Valente. <laughs> and what was the yeah. other one? Um, it had a call. Um, guess. No, it had like a swan on it. Gloria Vanderbilt. Gloria Vanderbilt. Yeah. Jordash. Sergio Valente. Yeah. Gloria Vanderbilt. What else? Jordash. I, mean, I would lay on the floor and good. make my friend Linda zip my pants up with a pair of pliers. Kim did that. The tighter, the better. I didn't. I was like, I mean, I can't even get over my hips. So. That's hard to do when you have a pad on. <laughs> Especially those back then. Yeah. Now they make these like ones that are. Well, nobody even uses those anymore, do they? No, because now they're like, guess what? Why don't you buy some full on underwear? There's a pad in it. They didn't want to have tampons back in the. You can full on piss your pants in the car. No one knows now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do. Often. <laughs> Which brings us to our next topic. Oh, gosh. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't, I don't really know how we got topic. off on this subject. We we're talking about bullying. Bullies. And, and back Bully to school. Artists. And your kids, did they always, like, tell you, like, at 10 o'clock they needed something for the next day that was due? If that, sometimes the morning of, Mom, I forgot a project due today. I'm like, God. Yeah, then you're running out to Kmart at mm-hmm. 2 in the morning. That's what I think we need the school supplies ice cream truck. It wouldn't sell ice cream, but it would sell school supplies. You just go up and down the street. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, no, Mom, I need a spiral. Can I have $8? <laughs> then you run out and get your spiral. Come True. back in. Could be a lucrative business. We would save you. You would have to run your kids yeah. to school. But nobody, no kid wants that pack with the cellophane around it, that just generic pack. Did, when your mom mm-hmm. won't take you to the store. Anymore. Yeah, you come home and your kid gets that pack and you're like, <clears throat> and you get bullied again. Yeah. yeah. Like, your school supplies suck. Yeah. And kids are like, God. They have Stop this Batman it, folder and they're like, mine's just green. Like, <laughs> Stop it. Wow. Parents, grandparents, tell your kids, don't, don't make fun of our kids. Yeah. 
that I'll be talking about on a podcast 40 years later. Yeah. It's still in my head. Damn, okay. Tracy. I will say that I did make fun of my share of people, but only people that were assholes. Yeah. I never made fun of somebody that was like nice and somebody that was a little bit rude or hateful to people. Yeah, right. They deserve it. Yes. Yeah, I they deserve make fun it. of them. It's hard to believe they that I did do that at one deserve time. It. And they deserve it. I will be the decider of what they deserve. So what else is going on? I just came back from Las Vegas. You saw, yeah, I saw Katy Perry for the second time. Ooh. Such a good show, guys. And she's extending it through November. She was going to be done, but for some reason, she's extending She just can't stop. God, it's such a good show. And you went down to the Kitty Cat Lounge. I did. I went down. There's a Kitty Cat Lounge at Resort World in Las Vegas. It's very hush-hush. But I found out how to find it and how to get to it. And we're not telling anyone. It's behind a bookcase. Mm. It's like <laughs> a secret. It is. It's a secret. It's like behind this wall. It's like a bookcase. If you have like the password, you're like, hey, is the Kitty Cat Lounge open? They're like, you follow this what was girl. the password? I don't know. Mm. You follow this girl. She just knew. I knew it was there. And then she pushes the door like Adam's family. It opens up. And you go. It's like a speakeasy. It's I love that. Cat it has those cats that do this, which I am infatuated with. Uh -huh. I want to get one. Could somebody send us one, please? Those My cats that do that. Remember the eyes are like tick, tick, tick. And the hand goes like this yeah. constantly. And the tail's like sling, sling. Yeah. You're talking about the Chinese ones. Ching, ching, ching. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the kitty cat. Yeah, those love cute. it. So that was fun, but even more exciting than Katy Perry. Ooh. When I was there. Lace Larrabee. Hey, told you I'd give you a shout out. Check out Lace. Lace Larrabee is the lovely. God, she's, God, she's lovely. Been, she used to be a beauty queen pageant person. Like you can't tell about. I'm standing next to her. I'm like the wicked night. witch of the West standing next to her, but <laughs> you can see in this picture. But yeah. um she is the host of America's Got Talent Live in Las Vegas on the strip at the Luxor Hotel. Well she should be. And so she hooked me up with tickets. She's Adorable. I love her. Went to the show. Fabulous show. Met her afterwards. And um, guys, check her out. If you're in Vegas, go see that show. It's really good. She's very and funny. She's lady. very entertaining. Very funny. Mm -hmm. um, has a podcast called Cheaties. And um, again, if you've been cheated on like Missy has or cheat on somebody, call them up. Tell them your story. They'll put you on her podcast. Yes. But thanks again, Lace. Cheers to you. Cheers. So Lace. what have you been doing while well, I've been out and getting around the country again? Well, did you have a date? <sighs> well, I've been trying to get an, getting over a date. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get over we a go date. your date. We forgot. Can I start off? You can just, go first. There's a few things. Um, gosh, I can't recall all the things, but I know you know it. Like when people say a word and they don't know the right word or they use it incorrectly, like. Or even just throwing an S on a word, like something as simple as I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart's. It's not Walmart with the S. It's it's Walmart. You know, you know what I mean? You yeah. Know many people like that? That's we was going mean. to Walmart's. <laughs> we I were. hate that. Oh, yeah. You people that say we was, you know who you are. Stop it. So we were. I asked him. I asked you him. You asked him. I got to go wash, wash my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Wash. I feel like we live like in, I don't know, what's that show, the Duck Dynasty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Midwest. I don't know, is it yeah. just people in the Midwest that talk like that? Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty anyway, sketchy. That's kind of what this is. One thing this is me off this week. What? People that lack a commitment when you're planning on something. Oh, lack of discipline. And you jump through hoops to make it happen and then they bag well, on hoops you. were like slain. Yeah. And then they bag on you and yeah. you're like, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. That pisses me off. We don't care for it. No. It burns our ass. It does. Because, you know, if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Come you hell or high water. I mean, there's got to be a death in the family or something. Someone's going to have to die. Somebody's going to have to die for yeah. before I bag on the commitment. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, that pisses me off. But anyway, I'm yeah, happy to have that. Yeah. So, what well, pisses us our listeners off and our viewers on YouTube. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Guys, we're at 408. If you're listening right now I'm on so Spotify, about that. that's a delight. Stop. You know you want to see what's happening in your studio. <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> people. Yeah. Go to YouTube. YouTube. Hit the subscribe. We're at 402. We need to be at 500. That's you're our goal. We're going to need to. 500 is our goal between now and our next episode, which will be in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So come on, guys, make it happen. It's like a Jerry Lewis telephone. Because we're gonna start come on, putting out. Go, date. go. Do we yeah. have to give you guys stuff? It's not to make the, you subscribe. It's not the Jerry Lewis telephone. No. But do we have to give them stuff? We can. 
We can. Okay. We'll give them something. We'll give you something. Subscribe, and we're going to give you something. Mm -hmm. And put in the comments, hey, I sus subscribe. What are you going to give me? We're going to get it to you. Because we have lots of stuff. We do have too much shit. And we, we need to get rid of it. <laughs> and we need to get rid of it. And we need 92 more listeners. That's hardly yours. So if you've Viewers. done it, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you haven't done it, do, do it. it now. And if you've done it, have somebody else do it. Please help us Wouldn't get there. Wouldn't that be a fun game to help play? Help us get there. You know okay. what else? What? Um, what else? I don't have that paddle right now. The oh, filth paddle? I do. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. The filth paddle? I'm going to, yeah. Tune in soon because we're going to start doing reviews on paddles. I think Doug would give us one to give away. I know he would because that's I'll how tell you that's what. Some rules. I got, a, I got a deal for you. If you are a 500th YouTube subscriber, we're going to give you one of these. How nasty, filthy is that, guys? These are, if you know anything about the CRBN or the Encore paddle of that nature, these are very comparable to that. Um, I play with, I freaking love it. It just gets light. Yeah, I noticed right. you were, I have some video of you playing with that. It's unreal. I'm, no, I'm not a pro. But when, since I've gotten this paddle, um, I've known a you couple did. buddies up there that have ordered one. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, I'm going to do a full-on review because Look out. spicy some bitch is what this is. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to our show. Back to the show. So, people, we talked about what pisses us off. People yeah, get so, pissed um, off and have some, we get messages. Where's Missy's dating debacles? Bring it. Oh, hell. What in the hell have I gotten myself into this time? I'm thinking to myself, why am I allowing this to happen? <laughs> We're walking down the stairs into this old basement, and I'm thinking, this is where I die. Yeah. So, I know sometimes we get off track, but we have one for you today, and it's so spicy. We're gonna bring it to you in three parts. It's like a trilogy. So you're gonna have to, if you listen today or watch today, you're gonna wanna tune in the next two weeks to find out how it ends. You're gonna wanna subscribe on YouTube because there might subscribe. be some spicy pictures that you need uh, to uh, correlate you with out some the story. Some pictures. Are you gonna put like a black bar across this? Yes. Across I think you probably should. And disguise his voice. Limber face. Disguise yeah. his voice like a yeah. robot. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. let's start at the beginning on how you met this guy. Well, okay. now let's not go there. Let's talk about what happened at that Embassy Suites hotel you and I were at out in, we're in Brea, California? Brea. Yeah. Were we there? Yes. We were out, we were out there. Beautiful, Brea. Um, which thing? Which thing are we well, going to Well, we were to sitting at the bar because we were getting ready to go. See our good friend, Leanne Morgan. You know, oh, she's this our one. good friend. Okay. She knows our time. She's our good friend. We're going to go see so, her okay. again. He wasn't movie. even actually there. This was just, we, I was, No, we were just okay. chit-chatting. So this was a four-month fiasco. Yeah. So, fiasco. What does fiasco mean? Uh, excuse me. Uh, fiasco is defined as a thing that is a complete failure, especially in a ludicrous or humiliating way. Uh, thank you. It wasn't good. <laughs> fiasco wasn't a fiesta. It was a freaking it was shit a show. Silly thing that you're going to hear all about. Yeah. Um, so we were sitting there waiting. We had comp tickets because um, we were getting like a little free food and drink at this bar before we went to the concert. Awesome. We were excited to see Leanne. We sat down. We have a cocktail. Not to name drop, but yeah, Leanne Morgan, our good friend. <laughs> oh. Hey, Leanne. What's up? See, see you, you soon. Later. See you soon. In a few weeks. Anyway, so we're thinking there's like food and drink. There's a few nuts. So we hardly threw any nuts down, and the bartender's like, "You got a pot." Fling starts giving us yeah. like she's literally two pouring her drinks. Like, like don't this. worry about it. Yeah. So we're like, okay. I was gonna drive. I was gonna because it was only really like I don't know a mile away. But we were like safety first. Then we couldn't even walk. We're like, <laughs> we're Uber. I'm like we better call an Uber. But so during the time we were sitting there, the date calls. What should we call? What's the name? Um, um, Arthur. Arthur called. Our, it's not his real name, but we're gonna. It's call not him his real name, and. Usually I say, but it was Arthur, and it's not Arthur. It's not Art. <laughs> oh, Art texted me and said, I hope you're having fun on your trip. When's your next trip? And I was like reading it to Lori. And Lori's like, tell that bitch to take you to Vegas to the love sh the love show. And I didn't know what the love show tour of the Beatles thing was. I, was. I thought you made it up. I was like, hey, bitch, take me to Vegas to the love show or whatever. And I was like, slink. Didn't worry about it. Put my phone away, and we just went off to call in our Uber. So yeah. then the Uber. That's I believe we do have audio of that. 
I think we do. Very nice. Yeah, I think we do. I'm wearing it. It's really unbelievable. <laughs> it was we just very really short on it. because it's so. There was no English funny. spoke. No. Yeah, the minute the Uber pulled so up, this is what she happened. We got it. the Uber. Yeah. What did you say? Me papa es gordo. Me papa. What is that? My dad is fat. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, how long is this freaking ride gonna be? Me mama es muy mal. My mother is very sick. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no hablo español. Mi, mi hermano es muy pequeño. My what? friend is very small. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you are el silly. El estupido. El dumbasso. Yo estoy el estupido. El dumb shit. <laughs> Okay, so the Uber finally, luckily, didn't kill us and dropped us off and at the she show. She was happy and, you know, went to the show, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So, but in the meantime, Arthur has been making plans yes. to take her to Las Vegas. Yeah, we get home and he's like, I have the trip booked. I was like, what? And the love show tickets. I'm like, what love show? It's a real thing. <laughs> there is a, and I know, I don't get out much apparently, but there is a Beatles love show. At the Mirage. We're at the Mirage. And I'll tell you what, if you haven't been there, immediately it's go good. book tickets because fantastico. Of course, he had great seats for that, too. Um, but, yeah, so he booked that while I was gone. Let's let's remember that I've been with this man about three months, and we have yet to kiss. <gasps> <laughs> let's go to Vegas. Because you know what they say. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Except for herpes, you bring those home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you didn't. So <laughs> no, I didn't. No. So um, with that, there's I don't know I don't know which realm to go into. There's so many. Well, uh, let's just say he took us one. to the bougiest hotel, the Encore in Las Vegas, and That's he pricey. was telling me, God, I really want this to be a special night. I booked us a nonstop trip on Spirit. <laughs> yeah, I don't fly all the time, but I do know. Well, I Spirit sketch. Encore Hotel. <laughs> Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Something wasn't jiving, but yeah. okay. So that was fun. That was a, a great ride there, which I mean, is fine. He um he did get a headache and had to rest his head up on the other with his hoodie. Wasn't he throwing it up? up? Well, when we did our ride in Vegas late, um, he was feeling ill. We went to Nacho Daddy because um, I heard, well, you're like, you have to do the scorpion shot. I'm like, okay. So I did go there and do the scorpion shot. Do it. Do it. Throw it down. Throw that little scorpion down. Ready? Here we go. Do it. Drum roll. Down the hatch. He rolled out to the bathroom and was sick. But remember, before you left, he's what he said about the sleeping arrangement. I'm well into my 50s, so <laughs> there's that. He did get a room. The room we have is two beds because he did not want to be presumptuous. And he slept in pajama pants, flannel ones. And I'm not going to put those pictures up. I will. <laughs> I think I might. Well, I think that's enough to give them for today. Of how sketchy. You, you know where this tuned. is going, people. You don't you, know where it's going, you really. Don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you you don't. couldn't guess the ending of this story, and that's why it's going to be in three parts. So today was the prelude of what we have in store for you coming down the road. You'll definitely want to tune in next week and the week after that. Find maybe out. Maybe someone it. might want to guess what happens. Yeah. If you have a guess of what you think awesome. went down on that, send the, uh, put it right here in the comments on yes. YouTube or send us a message on Instagram at Piston Pickle. Somebody might guess it. If you guess it, you never know. You'll probably win something for doing that, too, because we just are just full of prizes. And we love to just read those messages. Full of prizes. Full of prizes. Well, that is gonna how we're going to wrap it up today. We'll Thank you, my up. paddle. Thanks, sir. Thank all you guys that have subscribed. We appreciate it tremendously. Yes. Keep doing so it. Keep listening. Keep us keep us rolling here. That's all we have. Ta-ta for today. Take Peace care. Out.